गुड 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 मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द नॉकिंग इन सी इंजन ओके नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज द फ्यूल इग्निशन क्वालिटी इन द सी आई इंजन और इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज द सी टेन नंबर एक्चुअली ओके व्हाट इज द सी टेन नंबर सो फ्यूल इग्निशन क्वालिटी द इग्निशन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द फ्यूल अफेक्ट द इग्निशन डिले ओके the ignition quality of a fuel is defined by its ctn number remember in diesel engine the quality of the fuel is indicated by the number that is called as ctn number okay for low ctn fuels the ignition delay is long and most of the fuel is injected before the auto ignition and rapidly burns under extreme cases this produces an audible knocking sound referred to as a diesel knock okay so remember this if the uh, this particular certain numbers are very much lower then what will happen the tendency of the knocking may arises okay for high ctn fuels the ignition delay is very short and very little fuel is injected before auto ignition the heat release rate is controlled by the rate of fuel injection and fuel air mixing smoother engine operations may take place so remember when the ctn number is high there is no detonation or there is no knocking in the ci engine okay due to what happens when there is a high ct number the ignition delay period is very less or short now how, how what is exactly the ct number the method used to determine the ignition quality in terms of ct number is analogous to that used for determining the anti knock quality using the octane number what is this oen oen is the octane number this octane number is used Uh, the, to check the quality of the fuel in a size okay the ctn number scale is defined by blends of two pure hydrocarbon references uh, reference fuels so by definition iso ctn okay what is meaning of this iso ctn this is or also called as hepta methyl nonen hepta methyl nonen okay hmn hepta methyl nonen has a ctn number of 15 and c and c10 n hexa decane okay n hexa decane that is c16 h34 has a value of 100 okay remember that so that means meaning of this is the n hexa decane uh, that is c16 h34 which is having higher c10 number that is 100 okay in the original procedures a uh, methyl naphthalene that is c11h10 with a ct number of 0 represented the bottom of the scale this has since been replaced by hmn okay what is this hmn heptamethyl nonen and this is indicated by zero actually this hmn indicates the zero scale before that there was methyl naphthalene was there which was indicating the ct number as zero on the scale okay Uh, which is a more stable compound the higher the ct number the better the ignition quality <coughs> that is shorter ignition delay so how to measure the ct number ct number measurement the method developed to measure ct number uses a standardized single cylinder engine with variable compression ratio the operating conditions we have to take that is at inlet temperature must be of 65.6 degree celsius speed must be 900 spark advance in degree uh, before tdc uh, before top dead center okay that is 13 coolant temperature 100 degree celsius injection pressure that is in mega pascal 10.3 okay so ct number measurement uh, with with the engine running at these conditions on the test fuel the compression ratio is varied uh, varied until the combustion starts at uh, top dead center ignition delay period of 13 degree okay the above procedure is repeated using blends of c10 and hmn the blend that gives a 13 degree ignition delay with the same compression ratio is used to calculate the test fuel ct number okay and this is the graph for uh, ct number versus octane number that is the octane number and ct number of the fuel are inversely correlated okay so if you see this particular dot right so these are the 
octet number uh, sorry these are the octet numbers and these are the city number lines okay so here on the x axis there is city number and on this there is a motor method to calculate uh, to calculate the city number okay sorry octet number <coughs> so just you write down about this particular uh, city number up to these points right so whenever exa in examination the question is asked of, uh, regarding the city number then you have to write down these points right so i hope you understand what is the city number and uh, what is the zero value of the city number and what is the maximum that is 100 value of the city number and that names of that two components okay we have to remember okay so thank you very much <clears throat>